I'm called Charles Wakabulindi, the Workers MP, representing workers among the five in the Parliament of Uganda. And I want to call upon my fellow workers or Ugandans to be cautious with the guidelines that were displayed or mentioned by His Excellency the President. But I want to emphasize that so far since the other day, when we were given those guidelines and granted on certain issues, some workers have not clearly followed what is supposed to be done. We know it very well that there is no medicine at the moment, but we can prevent. Prevention is better than cure. For instance, when it comes to washing the hands, because we are supposed to be protecting the nose, the eyes, the ears, the mouth, some people have not bothered to know how to protect. They should avoid shaking hands. And they should know that the, the more you wash the, your hands, the, more, the better for you to prevent this disease, the so-called COVID-19, attacking you. We have got several opportunities. Eh? Sanitization can be done in different ways. There are those small portable ones, like for instance, in your, you can walk with one in your bag, and you make life easier by just moving with it. Once you touch on something, you just wash your hands, you make sure that you are properly washed, so that when you touch on something, this 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 this, this can die. Or else, you can go in the basin, use soap and water, and wash your hands. This should not be an excuse for some by saying without we don't have the sanitizers, so we are going to die. No, you can have soap and water and make sure you wash your hands properly. This should be a message to all employees, my fellow workers and the employers, and all Ugandans. Please let us save our lives. I've talked about washing the hands so clearly, which has been a fundamental exercise to start with, but this is not enough. We need social distancing. If you have been sitting together and squeezing each other, this is dangerous. If you have been sitting in the taxi and squeezing each other, and I would advise that even in the taxis, if it is a 14-seater, you eight, sit about eight so that you don't squeeze each other. And secondly, it would be good also to avoid hugging, you know, kissing, and something of that nature, even though you are lovers. This is a time when we are protecting about our lives. Please let us be very careful. Let us know when we are socializing. You remember we are told to avoid gatherings of more than 10 people. But even though you are 10, that does not mean that you should squeeze each other and squeeze yourself in a small space. If you are about 10 or 5, make sure that you, you leave a distance of about a meter. This will protect you much. We are lucky that they have not identified the disease to be airborne. It's through the hands. So that's why we emphasize on washing the hands very thoroughly and also making sure that in a social gathering, you leave a distance, you don't squeeze each other. This will make us more safer than what you have been doing. Change your lifestyles, avoid shaking hands, avoid hugging, avoid being so much cross, and for instance, like in the car. And if possible, if you are seated on the border, please make sure you sit there alone. Not three people on the border or two people. That will give you more chances of being, being in border contact. I would also like to nominate uh, some personalities who could also send more messages to the public, like uh, His Excellency, the Vice President of Uganda. If you could get his voice, it would be good. I would also like to nominate uh, the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, also to send the message the people of Uganda. I cannot forget to nominate my fellow colleagues representing the workers in the parliament, like Honorable Adinaitwe, Bakajara, Honorable Samuel Moki, Honorable Agnes uh, uh, Kunhira, and Honorable Rob Sheja Margaret. If all can come out and give their voice out, I think we shall be doing a good service. To the